Hi everyone, I am Ayushman Chavla from Gadgets Now, and today we have a special guest with us who will help us understand one of the key factors that modifies the output of a smartphone camera. The guest we have with us is a professional wildlife photographer who is followed by millions of people on social media, and I'm sure you must have seen his work as it is always trending on Instagram. The guest I'm talking about is none other than Shaz Jung. Thank you for having us on call, Shaz. Thank you, Ishman. It's great to be here. So tell us a little about yourself, how you chose wildlife photography as a profession. Great. Okay. Um, well, to start with, I am a wildlife photographer and a cinematographer. I am a contributing photographer for National Geographic, for whom I've also made films, for which I've been the director of photography for. And my journey into wildlife photography started in the late 80s. It's pretty deep rooted. And that was actually when I was born. And it's because of my parents who are avid wildlife enthusiasts. And I was kind of raised in the jungle when they started to pursue their passion for wildlife and utilizing ecotourism as a tool for conservation. And this journey through the decades, you know, slowly, silently instilled a deep rooted passion in me. And it, it sort of all started to blossom when I finished university. So I went and studied economics um, in, in the Netherlands, and I realized that the corporate world was not for me. I have huge respect for those you know, who it's for, uh, but I just didn't have that sort of mindset for it. And I came back and you know, went back to my roots where I was raised in the jungles, and I was a naturalist at first, and then realized how important it was to pick up the camera, to use it as a tool, not just to take beautiful photographs, but also to document and study you know, wildlife. And ultimately, it wasn't just about taking a photograph. I wanted to educate people, create awareness, inspire people in the hope that it ultimately sparks change. As you mentioned, you have decades of experience. So what is the most difficult part of being a wildlife photographer? You know, what are the major influences that determine the quality of your output? Yeah, so, you know, there are two, two factors over here. One, my favorite animals to photograph are crepuscular, big cats, and they're basically active in low light, uh, usually the early hours of dawn and dusk. And the second element which makes it difficult is that my favorite colors in the forest are black and white. Black is the absolute absence of color and the epitome of darkness, and white is the perfect blend of all visible colors and the essence of light. And neither would exist without each other. And this is how I see the forest at dawn and dusk. And these are the best times, in my opinion, to photograph wildlife. The forest is torn between day and night, shadow and light, you know, as they waltz together, creating this incredible moody atmosphere and atmosphere and mood that ultimately, you know, is created by that play of light. And this is what defines, you know, the output of my, of my, of my work. And, and over the years, you know, it's so important to evolve as a photographer. Uh, initially, you start shooting out with DSLRs and large zooms, but then over time, you, you start realizing that, you know, it's important to shift your perspective in many ways. And one of the elements I was lacking was a wider perspective, shooting with a phone. And, and that's what phone photography gave me. And it gave me the power of storytelling, allowing me to bring all these elements in, you know, to the, to the frame, into the picture. And this was very important for me to tell a deeper story. And, you know, it's important to understand these elements of uh, and these fundamentals of photography to shoot in these conditions with low light to, in order to tell a compelling story. And it's important to understand, of course, your subjects, which we touched upon. And, and all of this, you know, determines the output of your, of your um, photograph. As you spoke, light being an important factor, and you must have been under the sun to some really bright photos, super bright light and some extremely low and sometimes even no light. So how do you manage these challenges? Yeah, I mean, you know, all of that really depends on, on what the composition is and what kind of story you're, you're, you're going to tell. So let's pertain purely to mobile photography. With mobile photography, you know, you're, you're trying to tell a story with a wider perspective and therefore you're bringing in a lot of mo lot more light into the frame so in terms of low light now you know you have these incredible 
uh, you know, phone tech, as we've talked about, has evolved so well that that now you have, you know, um, <clears throat> you have these, uh, uh, well, well, these modes which now shoot in in pro mode, allowing you to change your settings manually. You can either go against the light if you have harsh light, you know, and shoot backlit subjects to tell uh, a different story. Or you can, you know, shoot in, in low light, capturing more light, you know, into the camera. Uh, so it really depends on, on the frame and the composition. So as we have seen your work on Instagram, you have captured amazing photos from smartphone. But yes. is a smartphone camera able to capture sufficient light for a professional grade photographer? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Today, you know, like with phones, now you have better glass, better sensors um, that allow for shooting in, in low light and well, as well. And, and recently I went out, you know, with uh, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, which comes equipped with Gorilla Glass with DX camera lens cover, which allows you to capture more light in and optimize the performance of these smartphone cameras. Can you tell us how Corning Gorilla Glass with DX helps improves the technology of the mobile device camera and how it does make the phone camera powerful? Sure, yeah. So the Gorilla Glass with DX is, is a different glass composite uh, from the traditional Corning Gorilla Glass, which protects your smartphone display. Um, it, they are multi-layered uh, They are multi -layered and they offer a unique combination of improved optical clarity uh, superior scratch performance, and of course, the toughness of Gorilla Glass. And the Gorilla Glass with DX lens cover that's present on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, which I was just mentioning, uh, enables the camera to capture far more light that helps create high quality images and videos, which is, of course, very useful for professional photographers like me. So the camera lens technology has progressed remarkably of the years. Yes, with definitely. Corning or playing a significant role in it. Absolutely. I mean, the new DX portfolio is, is more resistant to scratching and, uh, you know, delamination in comparison to other anti-reflective coating. Corning has also in engineered a solution that allows for more light to be captured, you know, which is great and allows you to take full advantage um, of the phone camera resulting in better pictures. And it's funny because... I spent a month, you know, with the Galaxy Z Fold 3 exploring the jungles of South India and, and Corning had sent me this phone. And uh, the aim was to capture the, the forest uh, and tell a story using the play of light and the strength of uh, the, the glass. So, you know, at that time of the year, I, I remember if you remember last year, we had a very delayed monsoon. The monsoons came in, uh, you know, they, they extended into December and this phone came to me in November uh, and, and they were like, you know, capture light with it. And it was extremely difficult because under this cyclonic weather, you only had rare glimpses of the sun and it made it extremely challenging. But, you know, when the sun did emerge, fortunately, these animals just like me were waiting for it. And, you know, when the light came out and danced between the trees and filtered through the canopy, I was able to grab some beautiful videos and pictures of, of you know, uh, life in the light. And I was lucky to capture herds of deer, elephants, butterflies, all kind of enjoying that summer warmth. And one of my best sequences captured uh, was this tigress and the cubs, you know, moving through the shadow and light as, as they camouflage themselves through the forest. So Charles, tell me, does having a camera lens covered like the Corning Gorilla Glass with DX on Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 really helps in minimizing reflection? Yeah, I was very impressed in the way the uh, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 captured light. I was able to get beautiful sunbursts in my videos. I was impressed with the dynamic range, you know, when exposing for subjects in light against shadows. The details were incredible and the colors were warm and required minimal editing. And the Gorilla Glass with DX helps in minimizing reflection to capture more light. I mean, that's ultimately what it's about. So the lens cover is now more resistant to scratches and scratches that can, of course, hamper the performance of the camera and the quality of these images. And in the past, I've honestly really suffered with this with earlier models, because as wildlife photographers, you know, we are in the field. Um, our phones are being battered around on safari in the jungle. And I've suffered in the past from simple scratches on the element. And now, you know, with with the uh, Gorilla Glass, which DX, which 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 helps 
uh, being more resistant and enabling more light to be captured by the camera lens. You know, in 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 totality, it's it's great and it did help. And for those who saw the pictures that were shared online and the videos, you could see how important the elements of light were and how well that they you know they were captured. Do you have any advice for aspiring wildlife photographer for such situations? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know light more often than not as a photographer is not in your favor um like i said you have to chase the early hours of dawn and dusk and and be at the right side and then on top of that your subject has to you know like in terms of wildlife photography your subjects are unpredictable they're animals uh so a lot of the time these elements are not in your in your control and there are two ways in which light is not in your favor the first is when the light can be very harsh uh for this you know uh, i suggest heavily under exposed backlit compositions that can remove the harshness of the day and accentuate your subject in a unique way so that can be for example you finding a beautiful um you know subject where the rim is lit and you're shooting against the light and you under expose and you just get this rim light uh, around it and the second is of course you know the difficulties are when the light is low and low light photography is challenging but can tell the most meaningful and beautiful stories through visually dramatic and moody photographs and i suggest focusing on stationary subjects with a tripod uh playing with your white balance and low light can dramatically enhance the mood of this and uh, of course using external sources such as flashes soft boxes strobes that can help capture very unique settings that are otherwise impossible to photograph so you talked about light being an important factor here and just keeping aside the wildlife photography here and as you see the powerful smartphone cameras are becoming a norm all over the globe so can we expect indian consumer to create a lot more visual content using these smartphones during special occasion like diwali wedding parties and more yeah absolutely there's no doubt that phone cameras have evolved into devices now that create visually cinematic content these phones now have incredible cameras that are further enhanced with latest you know technology such as gorilla glass dx products that we're speaking about and we're seeing many creators across the world now creating incredible content with phone devices you have social media platforms like instagram and youtube that enable these creators to showcase you know their work and and in- create engaging content today that are all actually shot with a smartphone and these online platforms you know are evolving and tech is evolving and the phones you know have definitely sparked a shift uh, along with you know technology evolving with the phone um in how content is being created today so viewers i hope our interaction with shah helped you understand the complexity behind smartphone photography and how camera lens cover technology such as corning gorilla glass with dx help you get the best out of your smartphone camera the corning gorilla glass with dx not only helps to protect your smartphone camera but it also helps you achieve desired result under varying light conditions before i say goodbye i would like to thank charles once again and i hope that tips provided by him will help you get the best output from your smartphone camera